At first glance, the new RC2 looks nearly identical to the older version, except for the external antennas. Hopefully, these antennas improve the signal, because my previous controller constantly dropped connection around tall buildings, forcing me to buy the Pro Remote. This is the Pro version that I had to get. Too bad I can't use it for the Mavic 4. If the RC2 doesn't perform better, I may have to purchase the RC Pro 2, but again, it has external antennas, so I'm hoping it will be better. Now let's see the battery. Thankfully, DJI stuck with the rear loading battery design, which I think is much safer than the old top loading style. When compared to the Mavic 3 battery, the physical size looks almost the same. The Mavic 4's battery is rated at 6,600 mAh, while the older one was 5,000 mAh. That doesn't sound like a massive increase, especially when you consider that the drone itself is larger and heavier. Before setting up the drone for its first flight, let me quickly recap and show what's included. The drone body with the battery, the RC2 controller, charger, propellers, cables, plugs, and the usual accessories. Okay, let's set it up. I was worried I won't be able to register it in the United States, but it's actually FAA compliant, as you can see on their website. The startup sequence is now a bit more complex, and one change worth mentioning is that the drone automatically powers on as soon as all four arms are unfolded. Fast look into the very familiar 